Here's the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. And off we go on EA Sports. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. give this is their fullback only a couple for him there on the game's first play and it's second down to throw it's Allen eluding the pressure right to the right side complete to Taylor and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled it's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game, but in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice gain. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From the six. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Allen, that's going to be caught by Kirk. Only able to gain a couple there. And now it's third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Throwing on first down is Allen. He'll get that one to Taylor complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. From midfield, here's Allen. Flush to his right. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. He'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact 
is going to move the ball well downfield. So first and ten after a big mistake on fourth down with a penalty. They'll try the middle with Lynch. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll run again with Lynch. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Off the play fake. Sliding out of the pocket. That's caught at the three. And the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. take him home and he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two yard line only a yard that time second and goal and they'll turn to the power game to try to get in and he tries to power forward but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. After playing like that, there should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Allen now on third and goal. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Michael Irvin from three yards out. And the Rams are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Gonzalez is good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. seven now as they kick it away taking it about the one and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 Try and run with her fullback. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I love the modern game, but that was a throwback right there to see the big man with football running, knocking people aside, and picking up yardage. That takes me back to the 60s, the 70s, when fullbacks ruled the earth. Four yards to pick up, first down. Well, not a lot of flash and dash on that play. Second and two, and they hand it to the big man, and he ends up picking up a first down. A little bit of gray area there, though, but I think what they thought, hey, we hand it to him here. If we come back and don't get it, we still got another down to try and pick it up. Now a throw here to his running back. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play that time on the catch and run. 30 yards. down and that is incomplete oh, the coverage a little too good there and it's second down here's second and ten now from the 29 here's gone and he can't get rid of it he's taken down that's big Jordan Davis powering in to drop him all about the offense so far this drive putting something sustained together 
But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. And now a carry here for their fullback. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. Gonzalez's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because, remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. On first down, Allen rolling to his left. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. It's Tracy Porter with a pick. And the Bears are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Not the best of plays there as a quarterback. You're right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. The give to the fullback on the dive. And he's got this down to the 35. Now the Bears are going to call the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first and 10, gone. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now Goff. Flushed out right. That ball is caught. It's Andre Reid. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Christian Okoye in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bears would extend their lead here just before halftime. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick from the six. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. 
They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Back to throw, Goff. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. It definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Bears take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, uh, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this... And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. 